Styx's hideout in Thoban. Almost too easy, Styx has stolen all the caskets containing the guard's pay. Before going to find his promoter, Ephron, collect his reward, he makes a short detour via his hideout, hidden in a remote corner of Thoban. Also, these load screens are broken, but oh well. Ah, back home. It's nice to get back to my good old hideout. Some may find the decoration a little crude, but I got all the comfort and equipment I need right here. Let me show you around, my friend. Okay, um... Okay, replay mission, equipment, craft, skills. Right, okay, so... Let's have a look at his skills first. Where my experience allows me to... Okay, so... Stealth. Persistence. Reduce the amount of amber required to be invisible by improving Styx's concentration. This allows Styx to be invisible for longer. Very useful. Feline. Jumping and landing on the ground is half as noisy, and injuries sustained by heavy falls are significantly reduced. Also very useful. Absorption of sounds. When Styx is invisible, he no longer generates any noise, and so he can run without risk of attracting attention. Very useful. Contagious invisibility. Styx can spread invisibility with a physical contact. Enemies being killed and corpses being carried turn invisible if Styx is also invisible. However, the actions are still audible. Very good. Latency. While using the power of invisibility, the delay before the amber gauge begins to decrease goes from 1 to 3 seconds. Styx can remain invisible for longer without consuming more amber. It's also very good. Flawless. Noises produced by ground, air and cover kills are significantly reduced. Very good. Acoustic Contagion. Other characters made invisible by Styx, Contagious Invisibility and Bubble of Invisibility skills. I think that's kind of a, a spoiler for what that's going to be. No longer make any noise. During invisibility, it is thus possible to kill an enemy violently without the slightest noise. Very good. Although this is all due to invisibility stuff. I only have 475 points. Let's see what the other things are. Kill. Flying Killer. Agility technique allowing Styx to carry out an aerial kill from 3 meter higher up. That's good. Anticipation. Defense technique allowing Styx to parry attacks by guards with greater ease. Only valid for the first two difficulty levels. That's fighting. If I'm picking stuff like that, I'm playing the game wrong. Headlong Rush. Styx rolls are more effective to dodge attacks. Same thing as before. Ethereal Dodge. When Styx is struck by a projectile, he has a 50% chance of dodging it, becoming ethereal for a very short time. Again, this is all fighting people. Like, either I stab them in behind, or I leave them alone. Pilfering. Pitboxing technique. Enables the, the item worn on the belt of a victim to be collected during its killing. Not so useful. Elite Thrower. Styx is more accurate and can now aim and throw projectiles 5 meter further. Useful. Sticks can kill an enemy, passing in front of a cupboard or chest. The victim will take place of sticks inside with his throat cut. That is good. Very good. And then the ultimate one, don't know what that is. Um, hmm. See, that's okay. That's useful. That's okay. But, like, these two, kind of as a, a chore to get to this one. I don't know. I mean, you can actually cross over, but these two are a complete waste. Alchemy. Styx is now able to craft his own vials of amber. That's going to be useful. Lockpick. Instructions for crafting a lockpick. Open lock doors. Fragile. It breaks when used. That I'm going to need. Well, okay, that's going to be very useful. I'm not going to need that. Like The game will allow you to complete things without actually getting that sort of stuff. So, we'll see. Poisonous Bolt. Instructions for crafting poisonous spikes. A guard that is hit by this projectile will suffer a violent stomach ache and will be immobilised for a few moments. Okay. Acid Solution. Instructions for carrying acid solutions. This corrosive substance allows traces of a corpse to be removed, even guards in heavy armour. Eh, uh, we'll see. Acid trap. Instructions for production of acid traps. As soon as it is stepped upon, the trap squirts a jet of deadly acid at the victim. The substance is highly corrosive, leaving no trace of the victim. We actually saw that in the cutscene. Ambered dagger. Dagger inlaid with empty cavities that glint of amber. Bonus. Sticks collects amber from victims killed with the dagger. One unit per enemy. Penalty. On each injury sustained, Styx loses an equivalent amount of his amber. His equipment must be fitted at the hideout. That's okay, but it's a bit of a trial to actually get there. Alchemist's Toolbox. Costume full of pockets and laboratory glassware. Allows Styx to craft items anywhere. Styx is noisy when he runs and executes a roll. His equipment must be fitted at the hideout. That's actually just straight up bad, of course. Don't know what that is. Cloning. Formula for the crafting of cocoons for the clone. The latter can be thrown and created at a distance. That's going to be useful just to have. Dense fog. The smoke released by the clone covers an area twice as big, increasing the radius from 3 to 6 meters. 
The smoke lasts twice as long, increasing from 5 to 10 seconds. Hmm. Rebirth. Sticks dematerializes instantly and is recreated at his clone's position. Oh, sacrificing it. Clone needs to be spawned in order to use this ability. So I can kind of use that as a teleport. It's actually quite useful. Healing Rebirth. When Styx uses his Rebirth skill, he recovers half of his health when he's created from his clone. Don't need that. Poisonous Particles. The smoke released by the clone now contains poisonous particles. Affected guards will suffer the same effect as for the poisonous spike. They will suffer a violent stomach ache and will be mobilised for a few moments. Uh, not necessarily. Smoky Death. When a clone is limited by an enemy, it always sets off a smoke bomb. Hmm. Life-saving clone. In case of mortal danger, Styx instinctively dematerializes to be recreated from his clone. He is thus immortal as long as the clone exists. Hmm. So you think this is one of the things, like, these two I'll get, but that's about it. Perception. Amber Vision. Oh, I didn't even use that at all, did I? Yeah. Amber Vision has increased item, interactive object, and enemy detection distance going from 12 to 25 meters. Thief senses. Styx senses the presence of items you cannot see up to 5 meters away and reacts them with a, hmm, Amber Vision does not need to be activated. Okay, first of all, no, because I hate the fact that people go, hmm, or I see a weapon there, and it's like, well, I don't, so I just need to get used to using Amber Vision more. Sixth Sense. Styx senses the presence of enemies when he is close to their fields of vision, allowing him to remain stealthy more easily. Amber Vision does not need to be activated, and he will react to a sound signal. Hmm. Sense of smell. Amber vision allows the smell of enemies to be detected. Sticks can see their last movements over a distance of up to 10 meters. I don't need last movements though. Tracking. Perception of smell is increased. Enemies can be sensed from much further away, increasing the range from 10 to 20 meters. Got uh, the vision thing for that though, isn't it? Omniscience. Or is it omniscience? I don't know. I think it's omniscience. The noise of enemy footsteps is visible over greater distance, increased from 10 to 20 meters. That's actually useful. Focus. Amber vision allows the footsteps of enemies to be clearly heard and seen through walls over distance up to 10 meters. That's very useful. Thing is, it's like it's a bit of a trek to get there, isn't it? So, what am I going to get first? Now, this. That's useful, although, what I do want to get is that. That's actually very useful. I do want to get this, though. Like, I could have used that quite a few times. I think it's like two or three times that last mission alone, so I'm definitely getting that one. I also want to try and get um, some of these. Now, I actually can't get that one anymore. I don't have enough points for it. Um, hmm. What I do want to get, as for the cloning thing, is this. So now I can actually craft it. Yeah, I want to be able to actually use that, because I can't use it at the moment. 155... Is there something here I wanted? Lockpick. Yeah, I do want to try and get the lockpick. It'll be useful. I don't, I don't really need it as much. When I can't actually get any of these, I just want to think about what I'm going to get. Can I actually grab anything after this? No, I can't. Only 155 points. So again, actually collecting all of the stuff is super useful. Amber vision has increased. Yeah, but... I'm actually going to hold on to the points for now, because what I would like is to get feline, persistent then feline, and then what's this one? Then maybe I'll go for pilfering and elite thrower and then this one, eventually, but that's what I'm going to hold on to for now. Yeah. Ah. Oh wow, With stuff. I could build a okay, we're definitely going to get one of these. Uh, let's see. Insect eggs is required for that. Now this, definitely getting a poison bolt. That's very useful. Uh, I don't have any vials of life. Ah, I don't have any poison spores. Okay. Uh, I'm only going to build one for now. Hang on, let's see what I can get. Did not see those before. So, oh, I should have picked up a bolt, did I? No? I did not. Okay. Still can't make anything else. If there's any more this stuff around here. Right up with anything I need. Assassin's dagger, Thoban jerkin. That's all I got. Okay. Anything else? I'm actually kind of thinking, like the people who made this game probably actually put something hidden around here. I just get the feeling that's the sort of thing they would do. Where we write the story, or where 
I rewrite it. <laughs> okay. And that's the way out. Okay. Is there anything around here I may be missing? No? Okay then. Let's just go on to the next mission. Grab oh, some XP. Well good, but I got a contract. City of Thieves. It is time for Styx to go collect his rewards from Ephron, for whom Styx stole all the caskets containing the guard's pay. The rogue is waiting for him in an old abandoned inn in the part of Thoban controlled by the guild, human militia that controls all that passes through the town with an iron hand, helping itself generously in the process. The sailors in the area have heard that the guild would be loading Ambassador Arcides' airship tonight. Strangely, he already took on a load a few weeks ago. Alright, so this is actually a separate recording session from the last one. And as it turns out, every time you seem to go to the, like the hideout, it also respawns all of the items next to his crafting desk. We actually have an extra bolt and two extra cocoons than we did last time, so... Unintentional, but that's just how it is, so... So I actually figured I hadn't crafted stuff, so... Thobe. A slum. A rotting corpse with perfume sprinkled on it. Goblin plague has ripped this place a new butthole. Now it's just a wet, stinking, shabby town for scumbags. Is that why you live here? This vessel belongs to Ambassador Arcidi. It's about the only thing still in working condition in Thoban since the Green Plague. I wonder what goodies are inside that thing. But for now, let's focus on me getting laid. Ah, paid. Alright. Oh yeah. <laughs> let's get that before we leave. One out of eleven. I'm gonna tidy this place up. Fucking hell. I always hell. hated ads. I always forget how. Okay, so this area is quite big. Also, I need to get used to using my powers some more. This town was a nice place. Completely trapped the alarms to kill the user. This district used to be as busy as a whorehouse on payday. All right. Well, it doesn't take long to do, but I don't want to test it. So, anyway, what's up, dude? See you next time, Sticks. What? Did you get something? Uh oh. Ambush? Carnage Squad. Ambush. I've got a deal for you, Goblin. Hmm. My name is Styx, human. So you speak our tongue. Yeah, and I can also cut yours out. You speak to Captain Heledrin with respect. What's the deal, Captain? I want you to steal an ambassador's scepter. There'll be ten times more if you help me, Styx. Ten times, Okay. Huh? Ambassador must be snug up there in his flying palace. So either I gotta learn how to fly, or I gotta fly one out of ten. Get on board the airship that just arrived. Then I'll just have to sit tight until it joins the rest of the fleet. All right. Well, let's do some looting then before we get moving. Now I need to use my powers a lot more. Like I don't use them very much, so. That's something I need to get used to. Like, using this vision to see hidden objects, to see people that I don't really notice, that's super useful. And one last one. Okay, this is getting a bit open now. Well, this is where the shit storm oh. begins. A shit storm for anyone who gets Okay, right. Way. Tell you what. Quite a range on it, this, so... Let's just right there. Let's see. One, two, three, four, I think. Was that four people? Top up. See, now it's darker near the poster. Okay, he hasn't seen me, has he? Ok, 
Okay, it's glowing again. I don't really want to go straight on, so I'm going to try and get in this building here. Okay, so we've got a rope. That should be pretty easy then. Although there may be someone in here. Looks pretty empty. The architecture of this town. What Probably should have looked first, but fucked up period. I can almost believe that it was all designed to make my job easier. No wonder that the goblin plague is so devastating. Okay, we actually got some good stuff here. Enough to craft um cover up these stalls. some more bolts. Are you scared of thieves? No, nah, it's because of the goblins. One of them vomited up some of the cargo. No. Realized it a bit too late. A customer ate one of the crew. Oh. Yeah, puked up everything he had and then he died. Then he died? Oh, okay. Well, one more bolt. Because yeah. why not? Sad end. Well, I've still got things to do before going to sleep. See you tomorrow. You say before going to slavery? Okay, let's actually be super careful this time. Okay, there is no one in here. Also, no loot in here, right. Let's keep it nice and dark. There's a guy outside. Okay. He is staring right at this. Oh, and lock. You know what? Sure. If I've got at least one, I kind of need to get this poster. So my plan is, as long as nobody notices, there we go. Two out of eleven. Jesus, this is going to take me ages, isn't it? But that was nice and sneaky. And something I noticed when I was in here is this. I have to keep my eyes out for stuff like this. Okay, there is actually a way out onto the roof. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Come on. Don't do this to me. There we go. Oh, my God. You know what? Fuck this. Fuck this. We're going this way. Oh, we're not going this way. All right, all right. I've I've had my embarrassment for the session. That's the last embarrassing thing that's going to happen, right? Right. You are supposed to be able to. There we go. Why was it so difficult? Either way, I'm now on the roof. Ooh. Okay. Ah, okay, right. What the? Yeah, torch just went out. Oh, is there a guy below this barrel? There was a guy below this barrel. Oh shit! That's alerted someone else, hasn't it? Oh dear. Alright, we're going to have to hide somewhere nice and safe. I think I've just alerted more people over here. Like, are they going to have a walk off or what? Maybe was not nothing to report. Oh, now is my chance. They're going off in the wrong direction. That was a lot easier than I thought. Yeah, you went the wrong way. Oops. I'm still doing that. Okay, he's coming back up here. I don't know where to go next, though. Wait. I should be okay, right? Okay, let's see. How are we going to get out of here? Ah. It's still dark over here, so I should be able to get this. Okay, right. And scale walls. Pick up. You won't catch me wearing a stupid white towel with a hoodie. There's actually stuff in here. Okay. Yeah, that guy's that guy's all gone. Hello. <sighs> I'm sick oh shit! Of this rotten town. If it's not the green plague laying waste to Who's our homes, he talking homes, to? It's the corrupted guild eating all of our profits. I really need to think Wait, is it just him? getting out of here. I saw a carnage poster before. Looks like. Is that a sign? Okay, hang on. 
Let's have a soft landing. Oh, sorry, have to do that. And hoop! There we go, god. Graphical bug. Okay, I was actually stuck within the table there, but we seem to be still okay. Okay, let's dump this guy. And I'll take one of these. Oh, I'm full. God, it's busy out there, isn't it? Okay, hang on. Let's try and find a safe way out of here. Wait, where's that coming from? You know what? If you're looking that way... Oh, shit! I'm going this way. Poisonous spores. Are those the ones I don't really have any of until now, apparently? Okay, I'm calling it. There's a poster down there, isn't there? That's so out of the way. Is there anyone down here? Just you. Oh, my friend, you've become a target. He's not going to look up here, is he? Right, hang on. Now, I do have an ability to drop down and murder him, but honestly, I don't know if that's going to work. I'll tell you what, let's wait till he turns around and walks away first. Oh, he heard that. This is why I want feline, okay? Okay, it's bright over here. Okay, nobody's looking, though. That's why I want feline, like... You just gain the ability to land pretty much anywhere safely. And... Really? Oh my god. I know, I'm nearly falling off just trying to pick him up. There we go, okay. 